Hey everyone and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 1 and in this episode I think we are going to tackle uh, one of the professional types of events. We've done a few of the amateur and point to points but we can jump into the professional now because we did not unlock a few at level 10. Level 15 we unlock another one so we've got um, class D, class C and low power open. So any of these three I think we might have a little go in C you know. Now, C1. C1 is above C2 and C2 is above C3. I keep getting this wrong in my head. For some reason, I keep thinking that 4 is the biggest number, which it is technically, but it's actually the lowest of the um, the the class. So, C1. I need to get a car to C1. What have we got? Let's have a look. So, I could get the Lancia Stratos up there. We had the Honda Civic, and we did actually do the Integra. I think I'm going to go in the Lancia, you know. Let's hop into the Lancia, see what tracks we've got. Alpine Ring, uh, Laguna Seca, cool, new one. Road Atlanta, 2, which is the short version, I've been told. Whenever it says 2, and Sukuba, 6 laps. We've got, um, yeah, so a couple new tracks and a lot more races, so this is when things start getting longer. But first of all, we'll do the uh, Lancia up to uh, C1. And I've remembered that. I'm not going to forget it this time. We are doing it up to C1. Can't tune it. First thing. Can't tune that. Can't tune that. Wow. Okay. So any acceleration we do immediately takes it all the way up to B1. B4, I suppose. We're going to have to do up the, um, the brakes and cornering then instead. Which aren't brilliant, actually, looking at it. So maybe... That was probably for the best. Right, if we put tyres on, that puts it all the way up to C1, which is good. And then if we do stuff that doesn't affect it, like the differential, will help us grip round corners. I think weight reduction will push it up. Yes, it will. The clutch and flywheel usually doesn't really do too much, apart from shift timing, which doesn't actually bump up the rating, so we can just keep doing that. I want to get it as close to, um, to the others as possible. Uh, yeah, we'll do professional transmission. Brakes are done. Suspension. I'll just leave it off for now. I think that's all we need to do, really. I'm not going to bother with uh, customising this, which you can't anyway. That would be an absolute crime to put a body kit on this car anyway. Um, okay, I think we're good for that. Uh, Customised paint. It looks alright in blue, you know. Actually, we're going to leave that. I don't want to uh, murder a classic rally car. So... Let's go into our first professional C-Class. Oh, we can do low power open as well. Uh, less than 300 horsepower. What's in that one? B3. Yeah, they're a little bit more upgraded than me. Uh, sure, we'll do it. Let's go. What's the first one then? Alpine Ring. I believe we did this briefly in the um, Audi TT, didn't we? So well, let's see if I can remember any of it. Right, where do we place on the grid? Oh, well, third place isn't too bad. Right, can't rev the hell out of it like every other racing game. Oh, there was one tip I forgot about, actually. Apparently, when the when it's counting down the screen, you can um, can press one of the camera buttons and it does take you to the, the car, car camera before the race starts, which is strange. I'm scared about crashing into these guys. Which has already happened. I'm stuck behind the Evo. Sounds awesome, this car. Can I sneak around the inside? No, is the answer. I need to turn my game up so I can barely hear the engine. I always do this. Got a Pontiac behind me. That car in first is smashing it. I believe, well, it feels like the AI might be more difficult in this. I'm drifting. I just get used to the mechanics again. I'm get overtaken. Let's turn me game up. That's better. Right. I'm quite far behind at this point. Let's just cut the track completely. <laughs> I don't believe this handles too well, but we're trying our best. I could have flying through there, actually. Flying? Flown. This is hard so far. 
Right, we've got four laps. So race is actually getting a decent length. So I've got time to learn the track and the car. And actually make some sort of comeback. I believe they're pretty damn quick, though, at the moment. One second behind. How's this top speed? I don't think we're going to get to fifth before the corner. Oh, I just went over the hump there. Apart from that, I was decent. These guys are rapid. I don't think that's quite the right line through there. They're staying exactly the same distance apart. I believe that car in front's actually getting away. Yeah, they are very quick, these cars in front. Right, that was much better through there. Right, I'm gaining something. Oh, you turnip! Fuck's sake. <laughs> I thought he was going to um, just move out of the way a little bit there, but um, that undertake failed big time. Right, this Subaru is getting away big time. I can definitely tell the uh, the difference already in the AI driving. They're either driving quicker cars. I mean, it seems pretty even, doesn't it? I don't want to um, upgrade my car too much. I don't want to ruin it, really. I don't want to make it too easy for myself. Had to go wide there. That was terrible. Absolutely awful. I hope you're ready for some long episodes, because it's going to take me ages to get used to this now. Difficulty. What does this car rev up to? I haven't really found that out yet. Right, it's just over 9,000. I just... You've got to learn so many things. There's no indication. Usually in games, they give you a little indication when you're getting near the rev limit. Right, so I'm going to... Just, I think, 9,000. I'll leave it up. Just over. I think we're just about matching everyone for speed. That Subaru is probably a little bit quicker than me. Bloody hell, that Pontiac absolutely... <laughs> was this a bad choice? I feel like this was a bad choice. I might need more power. Because I suck. Right, I'm not letting him get in again. Jeez. That Pontiac absolutely dived in there with the brakes. Is this Evo's causing me some big issues right now? Right, we'll get past him. That was really dirty, but that guy nearly took me out as well. Behind me. Can we catch this Evo up at all? It looks absolutely rapid. What line's he taking then? He's going... Not like that. Oh, God. I feel like this car's not really built for a track. Well, that was somewhat better. Right. Uh, 1.8 seconds. Can we reel him in at all? Right, that's much better. Oh, now we're doing it. Can I not crash? That's the next thing. Right, I'm going to have to take the outside line here. I'm here, mate. Watch out. Okay, the AI does not know I was there. Can I go for the cutback? No. I'm going to have to go on outside again. Can I actually get into first place? Yes. You nearly spun me out. The AI, the AI have no whereabouts of where I am on the track. I don't think that made sense. I'm trying to think of the word. What is the word? Uh, spatial awareness? Awareness. I think we'll just go with awareness. That uh, was a terrible corner. They have no awareness of where I am on the track. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, this game, you drift so much just by turning. You should not be drifting like that, especially in a four-wheel drive car. I 
I mean, the brakes are pretty decent, in all honesty. But the AI are much tougher in this one, I feel. Oh, God. I'm going to have to brake a bit there. The weight transfers all over the place around that corner. Right, we're definitely quicker through there, which is good. So hard to be quick around here. Don't think that was quite the right line. Sort of getting it, though. Right, we are pulling away now. We've turned it on. Getting used to this car. It is a cool little track, this one. It is hard to um, get it in your head. The chicane bit's where you can make the most time up, but it's just whether you can do it quickly enough. I feel like I'm timing the braking much better, but they're still much quicker in the corners. So whether that's me having lots of improvements still for braking in the corners, or whether they've just got much better brakes. Could be a little bit of both. I feel like I'm doing this corner better, but still it's sliding too far out. That was a decent line. Half a second up. Still pulling away. That's good. Right, this one. I need to be on this side, don't I? That's much better. And I could potentially... I shouldn't have done that. I was trying to get a good line through there, but it turned into a cut pretty much. That was pretty poor. Right, you want to go out to here and then back in. Still a bit wobbly. The track's really wide, so you can use a lot of that corner. I like this corner. That feels nice to go down. 1.4 seconds better, somehow. Might as well leave this in fourth, actually, here. That was way too late. Oh, no. Oh, I've wasted a lot of time there. I'm quite far ahead, which is nice. There's a yellow car in third. I'm thinking, is that the Pontiac? It's made a comeback. So much bloody skidding. The AI take a different line through there, which is the one I'm trying to follow, than, um, than what's actually on the track in the tyre marks. Maybe I'm taking a wrong one then. Maybe I shouldn't be following the AI there. Nearly two seconds behind my best. Yeah, they're actually catching. Catch that there. Right, can I go through here? Just the tap of the brakes. Yeah, that'll do. That off slightly. Yep. That's good. That was a tad late. Although I think we just saved it. Hmm, that was alright. Right, much better length races, these. Gives me time to actually get used to the track. Because two laps is ridiculous. That did take a while, actually, because I kept screwing that up. But hey, we actually won by a decent amount in the end. 22,000, that's what I'm talking about. No damage as well. I think I did hit someone in the first lap, but that's fine. Nearly a whole level going up there. Right. That was uh, Okay. Some of these I think I'm going to struggle with, some of the handling circuits. But Laguna Seca next, I do like this track. Now, I didn't look at how many laps we've actually got. It was the Pontiac that was yellow. I was right, so it did overtake the... Um... I'll keep forgetting to try that trick out. The camera change trick. So we've got four laps of Laguna. That was pretty bad from my point of view. I've actually damaged something here. For some reason, we're actually getting ahead of them around here. Got the inside line. They don't care where I am, do they? No. Like, I know I'm doing some pretty poor overtaking, but they haven't got a clue where I am on the track either. So it's sort of, you know, tit for tat, really. 
God, this is crap. I need to learn my braking points. That Subaru is quick. Right, this is pretty much fly through in it. Maybe lift off slightly. Oh, just got on the track. Off the track even. That was annoying. He's going to come through now. Right, we've got the corkscrew coming up. Should break way too early for. <laughs> I'm cutting so much of the track. Right, the next lap I'll do so much better. I promise. That could have ended badly. Right, over there. I do know the track. It's just um, getting used to it in A, the game, and B, in the car. I keep going wide on every corner as well. Right. Let's do better. I don't think I've ever driven a Lancia Stratos round the Laguna Seca before, so this is a first. Where the hell do we break? I'm going for it, number two. That wasn't a bad shout. Jesus! They're pulling my overtakes on me. Apparently, them hitting me has given me a penalty. How does that work? Someone explain that. I'm actually breaking a bit too much for that one. I didn't break enough for this one, did I? That was a bit too much there. It's hard to know. It really is. Right, lift off a bit more here, because I did go slightly wide. That's better. Right, I break too late coming up to this carousel. Not carousel. What the hell am I all about? Um, corkscrew. Oh, it's still the same. All right, I managed not to cut it somehow, according to the game. I looked like two wheels were over the white line, though, in all fairness. Don't think that's the right line either. Right, just about doing it. Oh, that's the second time on that corner I've gone wide. Apparently that's not off the track either, but my two wheels are definitely on the other side of that white line then. For sure. I've got to watch these AI, because they go for ridiculous overtakes. More ridiculous than mine. They go for proper lunges. Now, I braked at two again, but that is actually far too late. Oh, dear. Right, that was decent. That's a really hard corner, that one, to judge. You can go quicker than you think. Same with this one. I keep going too close to the inside of the track. Cutting it nearly. They are sticking with me. They are pretty good on this. I haven't been driving brilliantly, in all, in all honesty. Right, we're doing it. We are doing it. I keep breaking too early here. Let's go to the three. Right, that was better. I am going all the way over the bloody uh, curbs, though. It's not helping me out. Right, that was better. Much better. Right, I'm getting it. Sort of. Two. Yeah, stink off the track. I think that's a lap with no penalties. Who would have thought, eh? And it's a much better lap. Only two seconds, actually. Right, so we need to break before two here. About there. Just give me a good amount of angle for there. There we go. This is a hard corner. Much better. Right, I'm getting used to it now. Christ, I nearly cut that then. Right, this is getting more consistent, I think. I think 
Breaking at the two board on most corners seems to be the one. I can't get this one right, though. This one keeps eluding me. That was as good as I'm going to do without cutting anything. And I'm going over that curb again, which was wrong because it bounces the car up. See, I lost four tenths through there, I think. Nearly go through there full speed. I'm enjoying this. This is good. Right, I think that was my quickest. It's got to be. It's going to be close. That should be my quickest, though. I was getting away from them each time. Is it? Yes, just about two tenths up. That was enjoyable. I did get damage from a body. That was, I think that was my first overtake on the first corner. But again, 21,000 credits. Level 15. We have established a relationship with Chrysler. Dodger sent you a classic 1970 Challenger RT Hemi. Very nice. So this is our first um, proper American car. This is it. B2. That is quite surprising. That's B. That must be literally all due to acceleration. 425 horsepower, yep. So th this means we can enter this into one of the points. Points, I think, it was American. Classics, wasn't it? Pre-1980, something like that. Remove upgrades to fit car into class, yes. Right, Road Atlanta, short. Sorry, we have done this. For some reason, I thought it was Road America, they said. But Road Atlanta 2, the short version, I think we've done this exact track. We'll have to, we'll have to see, actually. We might have done Road Atlanta long. I'm not sure. Right, have we done Road Atlanta short? Evo 6 and Subaru ahead still. Pontiac behind. I forgot to do the bloody camera change again. I don't really know what I'm looking for, though. Right, what is camera change? Right, white button's that. Black must be camera change, then. I hate that in this game. That happens so much when they just clip your back end. They turn into you completely and you just can't turn. You just go the complete opposite way. Right. This is going to tell me whether... No, I don't think we've done this. Bloody hell, mate. They just break in the strangest of places. You can't get... Uh, you can't judge what they're going to do, really. And you can't really see them braking properly. I can't really see the brake lights unless I'm being blind. I have to see if I can see them. If they actually illuminate properly. Yes, they do. I'm just being blind. This is what I mean. They have a set path the AI follow. And they don't give a crap if you're in the way or not. Like, uh, quite a lot of the PGRs do that, in all fairness. Just shows how much they've improved in the later Forzas, because that doesn't happen anywhere near as often. <clears throat> this bloody Evo keeps turning into me like I don't exist. That was my fault that time. <laughs> I can't get the first corner right. Anyway, I believe this is a new thing. Ah, there you go. Just done it. That is a neat trick. That is a very neat trick. That's actually really helpful to get your rev counter where you want it to be. I really don't want to whack into the back of these cars because it's like insta-spin. I'm happy with the, the, the tuning now. I think it's quite even. I'm trying to go through here without killing myself on him. Right, he's going to break massively here. Hopefully, there we go. This leaves me room to go off the track completely. Yet, we haven't done the short version, so this is a new track. One that I don't think I've done before either. Oh, he's going to go ahead now. We've got five laps. Now, does the draft zone work on these games or not? 
gonna have to break before him. I think my brakes are worse. Bloody hell, they don't give a crap, do they, on this game? You can get spun, sir. I've gone into reverse. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, what the hell? Right, so. Start race. Plus the... There you go. Thank you for the tip, the Mad Mouse. Mad Mus, however you say your name. That's very helpful, actually. You can start getting your revs up before the bloody... Um, the race, you know, gets underway. Look, he's turning into me and I can't turn. Right, the, re the, the game itself is great. The AI and the collision physics, I'm not a fan of at the moment. But I like, the, I like driving. I probably prefer time trialing on this game than actually racing. Because the AI is so annoying so far. And their dive bomb overtakes... They are literally worse than mine. Right, they're miles behind, so at least I can... It's a hard section of corners, this. Oh, that is quite tight. More tight than I thought. I bounced over the kerb. Right, come on, we can catch this guy up. Oops. I think I've got the engine sound on full and I still can't really hear it brilliantly. Right, that was decent. A bit slidey. Thank you, sir. We'll go into first place. That's actually harder than I thought. And this is slightly tighter than I thought as well. Yeah, I've gone off. I've gone off. Get back on! Oh! I didn't move out of the way. He could have gone round there. I didn't actually... I didn't try and block him is what I'm trying to say. One thing that is going to happen here, though, is he's going to go for a stupid overtake. He's really... You're going round the inside there. Are you mentally all right? I tried staying to the inside of the corner so he didn't overtake me. And he still went for the lunge. The AI in this game are very silly. Right, that's decent. Right, we've got some clear space now. Like learning this track as well. This car is nice. I'm getting used to it. This corner keeps catching me out. I think you can go quick around there, but you can't. That's a hard one to do as well. I don't think I'm doing that right. I think I can carry more speed through there. Which is really important because there's a big straight here. So you want as much speed carried through as possible. This corner is troubling because there's no braking markers whatsoever. So you literally have to guess when to brake, which is ob obviously better to do it early than late. That's better up there. Right, we're doing it. Learning this track as well. I can't remember doing the short version too much. Got a massive lead now. Five laps, though. Oh, that was a bit wide. Oh, that's the worst I've done that for sure. Don't know what just happened then. Oh, God, I'm having a meltdown. No, it's not what we wanted. Luckily, they're quite far behind at this point. They don't do that um, fast chicane section that quick. It's not really a chicane. I suppose it's... I don't really know, to be honest. Sort of a chicane. I, I can't actually see the corner on this corner because um, the time keeps getting in the way from the cars behind. 
That's another thing. You watch next time we come up to that. It's another thing I've noticed, which isn't very good. This best time there, or the time behind, sometimes is right where the corner is, so you can't see. That's not just being picky, that is actually quite difficult to see the corner. You watch next time I come to that next corner. Or the last corner, even. Well, that's much better through there. Now, how do you do this damn corner? Still quite slow. It's hard to get the weight transfer right around there. Right, now watch this. When I come up to this corner, the car behind thing, there at the best, is right in the way of the corner, so I can't actually see it. It was worse last time, in all fairness. I think it depends... Oh, crap. That was awful. It depends on when the AI behind you actually um, cross the finish, cross the, um, the sectors behind you. Then the um, time behind flashes up. And it can get in the way of the corner, depending on where you are. So that's one annoying thing. And probably should have moved that up a bit on the screen. Got a decent lap in there. Did get some engine damage from over-revving. But other than that, that was pretty good. And we've reached level 16. 15% off all tyres. It's actually not gone too badly. I had a bit of trouble in the first race. But um, how long is that? 34 minutes. So we've got six laps of Sukuba now. Which can be quite difficult. But we've got 150,000 credits, so we're getting through uh, through the credits, which is good. Right then, Sukuba. Is this Stratos going to be good enough? I forgot to do the trick. Is this even the right camera? Yes, it is. Right, we can just creep around the inside into second. The Subaru's always giving me problems. They are quick, these AI, through certain sections. This is the corner they're usually not so quick round. But it's quite hard to capitalise on it because of this corner straight afterwards. There's no like, obvious overtaking spots there. Crap, they get such good exits as well. I feel like the cars on the exits of the corners just have like no grip. Oh god, that's hard on this car. Oh, it was going well, and now it's not. Right, come on. We can catch this guy up. Oh, not with driving like that, we can't. 1.7 seconds. Ah. Right, come on. We can get him. I forgot about the trick, the camera trick. Oh, can we get him on the inside? On the first corner. We've done it. Again, he's turning into me, but managed to sneak past there. It would have been a clean overtake if he didn't turn into me. This game feels like as soon as you get in the lead, they sort of slow down a bit. Which is a bit weird. Going too wide there again. Too much power on the way out. This corner coming up is really difficult. I'm going to end up turning in too much. Oh, it's so bad. That was really bad.
They are so quick. Around these first two corners especially. Possibly the only corner that I do quicker is that one, but you gain a lot of speed through it. Look at him. I've got a better exit, I think, though, which is good. I'm messing this corner up too much. Oh god, what have I done? I've done a bad. Oh dear. I don't know why I just broke so late then, that was really weird. Crap. And that wasn't even quick through there that time. Oh, I've fucked it up. 1.4 seconds ahead he is. Right, that was better than I've done. I have caught him up. I don't know why I break so late on that other corner. That was weird. That's so bad. I've just wasted all that freaking time I've caught up. Oh, dear. I'm catching them up very slowly. The other cars are miles behind. Oh, that was a terrible line. Oh, Jesus, I'm going in the pit. Oh, I can't do it now. I've fucked it up too much. That last corner is so difficult. Oh man, this is annoying, this race. I think the AI drive the quickest on the on Sakuba circuit. Just about managed to get around the inside. Nearly spun him out in the process, but that's fine. They're certainly tricky on this game. There are no slouches, the AI. That was so bad. Six laps feels like ages on this as well. Right, I'm going to stick with some fourth round here. I feel like it reacts slightly better to the corner. Oh, God. Maybe not. Yeah, they're too quick for me around these corners. That 
was really slow. That wasn't too bad. Hopefully they fight each other. That would be handy. Still not the right line, but uh, definitely slow in, fast out's better there. Right, I nearly actually did that one right this time. Right, we're doing it. We're actually pulling away. This is what I mean about the oversteer. That should not be oversteering. Right in the final bit of the corners, it just does it for some reason. Very weird. I stand by, I think that's the hardest corner on the track. Oh, it's too late on the brakes. I think that was decent. Something else is in second there. Something random. That's not the um, the Pontiac or the Evo. Right, that is the corner. That is it. That was my best by far on that corner. I think, anyway. I felt the quickest. Right, finally getting it. Right, we're actually increasing the lead, which is positive. That was a bit oversteery. Right, coming up to the last lap. I think it does equal around the same length as the other races. Maybe slightly longer, actually. See, it just should not be skidding around there, should it, this car? To be fair, it doesn't matter which car it is. It will just skid. It's definitely the wrong line. I'm doing pretty consistent laps. I'm constantly a tenth down from my best, apparently. I think he's staying the same distance behind as well. Oh, wow. That was a terrible lap. Four tenths. I think that was an okay last corner. Oh, wow, that is hard. Look how close the best laps were. It was a CLK 55. Everyone got very close laps. 
And for some reason, the quickest one was a um, Skyline. Miles quicker than my lap. In fact, I probably got the slowest lap. I did actually get the slowest lap by a millisecond. That's ridiculous. Doesn't matter, we've, uh, we've won that anyway. Definitely more difficult, that episode. But we won a, a Lanzo... Uh, Lanzo? A Lancer Evo 6. Tommy... Mac I can't remember what it's called. Tommy Mac, Mac or something. That's the TME, isn't it? C2. Pretty nice. Most cars you win have under um, five cornering and braking, it seems. But another Japanese car. But what does that mean? Have we unlocked any other stuff to try? So, uh, let's have a look. Right, when do we unlock the next tier? That's level 20, so we're quite a way off that yet. There's a lot of races in this game. Because that took a good part of 50 minutes. So, we obviously had the low power open, which we could try next time. We've got the Miata Sport Cup, which I don't have a car in there. Classic sports car event, open to unmodified cars made prior to 1975. First place receives a 250 GTO, that's pretty cool. So, it has to be stock. And C2, no, B1 is the highest, Stingray. And we've got B-Class as well, Championship, which we could have a crack at. Ooh, that's tempting. Right, what's, um, what cars do we have in here that's unmodified? It would be the uh, the Challenger B2. Was the Stingray B1? I'm not sure we could beat that, you know. I'd have to try it and see. I'm not I'm not totally convinced, but this one's possible. There's no B1s in there either. Dodge Stealth. I'm going to hold my hands up and say I don't know what that is. Don't kill me. Ooh. We haven't used the uh, Honda Mugen, which we could upgrade. It's not really got the power, has it? We've also got the Celica. Uh, we've got our Evo that we've tuned before. We'll see. See what we do. But it's been a decent episode. I've enjoyed that one. Pretty difficult. But um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed as always, guys. And I'll catch you for the next episode.